Thank you. Thank you for letting those of us from Sunday Afternoon Fellowship come and share this marvelous candlelight service with you. Uh, we consider it an honor and a privilege. And my third uh, lesson is for me to share with you just some words from my own uh, experience. And I'll bear witness to those words right now. For me, this time of the year, this holiday season, has represented a variety of things. On one hand, it represents hope. On the other, it represents ordinary men and women like ourselves having that revelation from our higher power. It represents light coming into a dark world. For me, it represents a search for wisdom, a search for understanding. It represents also for me love for those children who've been born in dubious and uncomfortable circumstances. But the bottom line is also leads for me peace, goodwill on earth to all of us who really do care about seeing peace. But let me just share maybe something about two of these a little more extensively, and I'm not going to make it long. <laughs> From as young as I can remember, Christmas Eve was still with a lot of anxiety. Uh, if you had brothers and sisters, from the very dead time you got up that morning, uh, last minute shopping, things that just had to be uh, gotten that you didn't have yet, and all the while listening to your siblings, I'm the baby, <laughs> listening to your older siblings guess at what was going to be coming for Christmas. Those little packages that were already under the tree, they weren't big enough for what I wanted. <laughs> and so we're all having this guessing game. Uh, and I was probably more anxious than the rest of them. Because I was consciously aware that before anything could come, I had to go to sleep. Have you ever tried to consciously make yourself go to sleep? It doesn't work. But sleep finally came. And in our household on Christmas Day, Christmas morning, we always began with the sunrise service. Nothing could be open, nothing could be tampered with. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> the man had come. You know, the man with the belly. He came. He left something. But I wasn't allowed to touch it at all. I had to go to church, walk through the snow. And the song I most remember from that time was Ave Maria. Had no idea what it meant at the time. But that song has lingered with me through the years. We returned home from worship because in our home, God was always first. We must deal with God, give God thanks for the things that God has given to us. And as I grew older, I really began to understand what thanks was all about. Because I discovered I was born during the time of depression. The last child in depression. My father died three years after I was born. And so I came to understand that that holiday time was really a time of saying, thank you, God. Thank you for him. Thank you for a mother who reared us by herself with the assistance of neighbors who helped her to correct all of my bad behavior. <laughs> it was a place where I could call home. It was almost like a shotgun house, if some of you recall that kind of language. But it was still home, a 
place where we could live. It was a place where we had our daily keep, daily bread, for those basic things that we needed. And over the years, I also began to understand after my own children were born, how courageous my parents were to risk at such a critical time, to risk bringing this one into this world. I continue to say thank you. <coughs> thank you because it has meant so much to me and my children and my family and all those opportunities I've had to serve. It means hope for every child that's been born into the world. That's God's statement to us. There is a future. For all the shepherds who heard the angels, it means that we who are ordinary men and women now have a chance for our own experience of revelation from God. And light still shines in the darkness. That is, every child who's born comes with light. It's already there. I don't have to look for it anywhere. It's already here. Thank God for the light. It represents love. For me, love for all those who have been born in circumstances that some folk would not even care for. But thank God for God. That God rescues us wherever we are, in whatever circumstances. Christmas has such great meaning of hope for me and for ordinary men and women like ourselves.